transition to the Trump administration begins in earnest today. As the president-elect's cabinet hearings get underway, first up, Senator Jeff Sessions for Attorney General. And in a historic move, Democratic Senator Cory Booker will testify against Sessions before the Judiciary Committee, he says. This is the first time ever that a sitting senator is voicing opposition to a fellow sitting senator for a cabinet position. Joining us right now is Harvard Law Professor Emeritus, defense attorney and author of Electile Dysfunction, a guide for unaroused voters. Alan Dershowitz is with us in New York. A spokesperson for the nomination for Attorney General designee uh, Jeff Sessions, Sarah Isger Flores is with us as well. Good to see you both. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank and you. Sarah, I want to kick this, in, this off with you. How is Senator Sessions handling the move from Senator Booker? Well, Senator Booker will testify along with two other uh, folks who actually don't know uh, Senator Sessions particularly well. On Thank the you. other hand, we'll have three African-American leaders who have worked with him for decades who will speak to his character, his work history, and his four-decade career uh, upholding the rule of law as both a prosecutor, a state attorney general, and now 20 years as a U.S. senator. So we're confident the American people will get a good sense for who Senator Sessions is and his values and his record. Uh, Alan Dershowitz, how do you see this? Is this just politics as usual or is this something else? No, I think it's something else. Look, the president normally has a strong presumption in favor of his cabinet nominees, and certainly a sitting senator has a strong presumption of senatorial courtesy. But this is the Attorney General of the United States, <clears throat> the chief law enforcement officer, and he will be very, very critically scrutinized by the Democrats. Uh, I think there is genuine concern about whether he has changed from the person who was not confirmed for a judgeship many years ago. I think the questioning today will be very critical. I think there are people there with open minds who might be influenced by his answers to questions. So I don't think this is a done deal yet at this point. Sarah, how is, is Senator Sessions planning to answer these issues? Obviously, these are going to come up. We know what the issues are, and we know where Democrats are going to push. What, are, what will his answer be? Well, I think he plans for a thoughtful discussion on a range of issues with his colleagues. But if you're referring to the 1986 hearings in particular, <laughs> the facts simply aren't on the left side. These are left-wing groups fundraising off of this, by and large, based on witnesses that have recanted since then, been discredited since then. You know, Senator Specter says that he regrets deeply not voting to confirm Senator Sessions. The allegations have been proven false, mm -hmm. and Senator Sessions will state that today as well. Well, you know, there's going to be a lot of yeah. hypocrisy. Yep. There's going to be a lot of hypocrisy on both sides. There are going to be Democrats who will say, oh, you can't forget the past. But when it comes to Keith Ellison, who's up for a chairmanship of the Democratic National Committee, they'll say, oh, of course we can forget the past. He's changed. And there will be Republicans who'll say, oh, you must forget the past when it comes to session. But when it comes to DNC potential chairman Ellison, they will say, oh, no, no, no. The, uh, uh, we have to look at uh, just the current. These are very comparable cases. The difference, of course, is that yeah. Sessions is up for attorney general of the United States. Well, That's a very important position. There's one big difference. Alan, which is you make such a good point. Ellison, yeah. Go ahead, Sarah. Keith Ellison actually has said those things. Senator Sessions was accused of saying those things by someone who recanted their testimony under oath after the hearing. So there is a, a pretty large difference, with all due respect to my former professor. <laughs> well, no, there are differences, obviously, but also the big difference is chairman of the DNC isn't nearly as important as attorney general of the United States. And so I think he goes mm. in there with two presumptions in his favor, the Senate and the president gets his cabinet, and one presumption not so strongly in his favor. In fact, against him, that he has not been the personification of civil rights, civil liberties, voter rights, the rule of law. I think he has to make his case. If he goes in there thinking that he is a shoo-in, he may lose. He has to understand that he now has to make a strong case if he's going to get confirmed. Well, I take some issue yeah, with no, that. Yeah, I think you make a great point. Senator Scott has endorsed uh, Jeff Sessions. Uh, we have civil rights leaders, African-American leaders who have come out in favor of Jeff Sessions, again, who have known him and worked with him for decades. Also, Senator Joe Manchin, a Democrat from West Virginia, has said he will vote for his confirmation. So we feel pretty confident on how these hearings will go don't, and that he will be the next Attorney General of the United States. Don't be overconfident. This is an <laughs> issue that could go either way depending on how well he answers the questions. Look, he's a smart guy, and he'll probably answer the questions well. But I would say there is still some very open-minded people who are really anxious to hear whether he is a different person than he was at least accused of being back when he was up for a judgeship.
But, but how important is the, the Trump victory in all of this, Alan? Because the fact is, is when, when you're looking at some of these senators' districts, they're not going to want to go against something that they feel that their their constituent wants, right? That's how much is correct. that playing into this? There's no question, and that's why the president almost always gets his nominee. Senator Towers was not confirmed, even though he was a sitting senator when he was up for Secretary of Defense. But that's because there were scandals in his background. So I think if one had to bet widows and orphans money on the outcome, you'd have to bet on the session's confirmation. But I would not be too overconfident in light of the Booker decision, which is unprecedented, and some of the past matters. I myself have an open mind on this. I'm waiting to hear whether or not Senator Sessions can persuade me that he is not the person that has been described in the past and that he will, in fact, apply the rule of law and vigorously enforce civil rights and civil liberties.